I didn't plan to make a video today, but I found something very interesting. Since I'm a big fan of NASA, I like to watch many of their videos. Today I was watching this old footage from the Challenger mission. I was thinking I need to stop spreading this flat earth bullshit because maybe NASA is legit and maybe all their missions are real. Watching NASA videos is a good way to make yourself believe it's all real. Unless you find stuff like I will show you in a minute. Maybe other people found this already, I'm not sure, but I am sure that I never saw this before. So when you look at this footage, sometimes it kind of makes you think, was it all real, is it all real, because many parts of it kind of look real. Like the part where you see all the people watching the rocket, like this part. It's kind of hard to fake it and it kind of looks very real, so the rocket probably was real. But then, well, just let's keep watching, it will show up in a minute. This video was uploaded by the International Astronautical Federation. And like a good reporter or a good journalist, I checked my sources and <laughs> this is what Wikipedia told me. It's an international space advocacy organization based in Paris and founded in 1951 as a non-governmental organization. But it's full of governmental people. But that doesn't matter. It's uploaded by them. Uh, I will link the video in the description so you can all watch it. And maybe you can put some comments on the original video, but please be polite. Everything is running properly. The, the next scene you'll see from the cockpit is when the uh, solid rocket boosters uh, departed and that was really a bright, bright flash. And after that this is all showing the rocket from the Earth going to space. This is the, the real part because it's probably, it is real. But now the rocket is getting into space, so now the fakery comes in. This is, like, this is the time when you watch the recent rocket launches, this is when they switch to animations. But back in the time there was no software to make animations, so they had to do something else to make, to convince you that the rocket is in space. These days they just use cartoons, it's, it's kinda insane that people believe cartoons. Do you wonder how they used to do it 30 or 40 years ago? <laughs> uh, do you remember Thunderbirds? That basically shows it. It's just a bunch of tiny models in a dark room with some special effects. But at least Thunderbirds did a decent job because in Thunderbirds you never saw a guy in the background showing up. So this video is an astronaut explaining the mission, it's not like practice footage or anything. Watch closely. Dan sat in the pilot seat during this operation, uh, sort of monitoring the uh, motion of the vehicle, making sure that it was steady and that the, uh, the you know, there were very few uh, vibrations of any sort. This is a picture of the INSAT uh, actually being deployed from the uh, spacecraft. You can see that the, the deploy went very smoothly at the moment of deploy. Did you see it in the background? There was a guy in the background, man. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. You can't deny that that's someone in the background. There is a guy moving in the background. Here, watch it again. Watch it closely. I, I looked up or I tried to look up the size of this rocket. I, I found this picture. You can see it's massive. So if that rocket is in space and if there is a guy in the background in that footage, that means that there are like giants but like insane big giants floating around in space looking at nasa that's pretty that's probably why they don't dare to go back to the moon and why they hide so much stuff space is full of giants well nasa this video was a lot of fun to watch there's a lot of weird things in this let's keep watching a bit more of this uh, about a minute 20 seconds after deployment you can see some of the uh, jets on the spacecraft. Here you can see how they switch on the light of the earth. <laughs> it's kind of funny isn't it? How do you explain all this shit? But at least you can see that the earth is a ball. At least they are not hiding. 
the shape of the earth or maybe is it a fish eye lens oh the satellites start to spin for the video well at least we see it's a ball you know um, it, it's even more a ball when it goes down <laughs> and it doesn't look like it's in outer space it looks like high altitude at most these old videos are a lot of fun to watch anyway I showed you what I wanted to show you thank you for watching my video again and uh, by the way I found a cool place where I can buy helium so I'm, I'm not gonna uh, launch a balloon or anything but I have a pretty amazing idea in my head that I want to try for a long time already I think I will have a video soon with my little helium project i hope i can do it uh, more about that soon thanks for watching bye bye